give us kind of a timeless sense in, the, in, the, in an animated way with characters that have voices that were drawn uh, with actors, really. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we have a, really a pretty impressive cast of, of stars. Uh, doing the voices um, of, of the actors, uh, of the scientists. And among them are Richard Gere, Patrick Stewart, Kirsten Dunst, Martin Matlin, um, uh, Albert, Albert Molina. Albert Molina, yeah. And uh, uh, some others that have just escaped me my memory right this moment. Um, yeah, so uh, in, in the animation, and then when you say the word animation and Seth MacFarlane in the same sentence, you think it's Stewie's going to pop up. <laughs> uh, but no, of course, there's, uh, it's, it's um, the renderings are, have a kind of a graphic novel feel to them. And, uh, and this allows the animators to, to, to capture moods in ways that just having people standing there doing it might not have been possible. And we're thinking that this audience, especially in the Comic Con celebration, would be especially tuned to what we're trying to accomplish here. So I'm going to, uh, this VO will actually appear in the, in the, in the broadcast. Uh, we don't have that recorded visually for you now, but this is the lead in, and we go straight to the visual. We do have it actually, but we thought it would be much cooler for you to say. Oh, oh, so I thought, I thought it wasn't ready yet. They just like, okay. <laughs> Okay, so here we go.
job he ever had. He had the vision that sealed his fate. In this dream, he awakened to a world enclosed inside a confining bowl of stars. This was the cosmos of Bruno's time. Falling in love. 